Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, July 18, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, reading 58. And it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And I say, Amen. This is a very profound and timely word this morning. And the reason that is so, it is because as Christians and as servant of God, we know how difficult it can be to be a witness. Meaning that the rejection that you face or we face on a daily basis is numerous. But yet still, the Bible says that the harvest is ripe and that the laborers are few in spite of the fact that there are those who will not hear us. There are still those who welcomes the invitation to join God's faithful people or to join the Lord's family. But in spite of that, there are still times that we face challenge or challenges in reaching others because they either don't want to hear anything we have to say or we share with them and they make no move and i know from experience that sometimes it can be a bit daunting and sometimes it can be a dis a bit discouraging because you are looking at the fact that when you share the love of god with others you are automatically expecting a favorable response because you are introducing them to life and it seems like they do not want life but this is to encourage all of us this morning and to remind us that in spite of the challenge that may exist on the battlefield that we must remember that the work belongs to God and that the Holy Spirit in due time will open up the receiver's heart so they can either accept or reject so you and i are commissioned to just share the information to share the word of god with them to encourage them you don't even have to have a bible study with them you can just tell them that jesus loved them because no one person do all the work. That's not how evangelism work. Sometimes the seed is plant, planted by one person and then it continues to be watered in, in a sense by several persons after that. So maybe you are not the one to give the Bible study, but you may be the one to initiate that invitation to Christ by just letting the person know that God loves them. And in truth and in fact, the Holy Spirit will tell you or inspire you what it is that he needs you to do. Okay? But here, we, we are encouraged that in spite of the challenge that do exist, that we must not be discouraged, but we should do remain steadfast we must remain unmovable so yes you share the word of god and no one respond and not because you are not sharing the truth but maybe they don't respond for whatever reason the word of god is telling us do not be discouraged do not shift your attention from the lord keep focus keep steadfast and continue to do the work of the Lord because 
he's saying here that if you and I continue on the path of righteousness and we remain unmovable, we remain faithful, that God promises that it will not be in vain. And I say, Amen. So, yes, sometimes you may feel a way, but don't allow that to discourage you. Sometimes others may even come to you and try to discourage you in other ways too, but remain steadfast. Sometimes the things around us can be a bit daunting. Remain steadfast. Whatever our experiences are, whatever it is that we have to face on a daily basis, remember to remain courageous in the strength of the Lord and to remain focused. Don't allow anything or anyone to shift our attention away from the Lord. The Lord is on our side and if the Lord is on our side, we will not be moved and i say amen may god continue to strengthen all of us and especially those who are feeling and discouraged and feeling like they are not making any progress as it reached as it relates to you sharing the word of god continue to share the word of god and surely at the right time you will see the fruits of your labor and also the lord will reward you with his blessing or his prize that he have for you may god continue to bless and keep you in jesus name amen